So starting with my actual phone, my phone is pretty much the same as it was in my last What's on my iPhone video, so go watch that if you haven't already. But I added this Cal Poly card holder. Usually holds like my ID card and like some money and stuff. First thing that's different is my lock screen. I took this picture, but then I added this quote on. I will show you guys how to make that momentarily. Before I show you guys how to actually put on the widgets, I'm just gonna quickly go through and do a quick what is on my iPhone. First, I have this widget, which is just a little coffee widget from Pinterest, and then I have a picture of this random girl. I don't even know. I mean, she has brown hair like me, so I just kind of figured it worked with um. And then I just have a little widget with the date. Messages, calendar, clock, camera, photos, app store. On my dock, I have your classic phone, FaceTime, Safari, and Spotify. Spotify is an essential for me to have at the bottom. I've been listening to the Happy Hour podcast by Gretchen. I don't really know how to pronounce her last name, but anyways, I really, really like her podcast. Um, I've just been listening to a ton of them. I'm at the bottom. You can see I was playing No Wind Resistance because I was trying to test if that would make me do my work faster. Technically, it did make me do my work faster, but I think it was like a psychological thing. I was like, oh, it's going to make me do my work faster. So then I actually did my work faster. Socials pretty much have not changed since last time. You guys have the new Snapchat update. Let me know if you guys like it. Then we have Instagram, and my Instagram is at Paige E. Riley. This is my most recent photo, but I think I'm posting more in a little bit. I have a few photos just kind of queued up. And then, of course, YouTube, which you guys are all on right now. Pinterest, which has been, like, my recent obsession. But yeah, this is my Pinterest. I used to edit photos sometimes, so I'm going to give you a preview of my most recent, or the Instagram photo I'm posting next. Um, if I'm even posting it, because I literally never post on Instagram. And TikTok, of course, literally my obsession, everyone's obsession. I am on, like, Harry Potter TikTok. The things I use on here are mostly YouTube Studio, which is, like, my analytics, so I'm not really going to show that. Facetune, which I use to blur the backgrounds of my videos. You guys have probably seen that. And then sub count, I'm at 944 right now, so close to 1,000. I pretty much I don't really use any of these, except for Fonto, which is where I made my lock screen. I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how I made my lock screen. So, if you just click on this to add a new photo, and then again, you click on whatever phone you have. Oh yeah, right there. So I click this one for my iPhone X white box. So this is the size of a wallpaper on an iPhone X. And then I click add image. I just click on this image that I found from Pinterest. I actually make, might make this my new lock screen because since I started watching Gossip Girls, New York is my new obsession. I really want to go to the Met and like sit on the steps. Basically, you just resize it to fit the size of that little white box. I'm going to add another image and I'm going to pick an image that's a quote because I just want like an aesthetic quote to put on top of it because that's how my lock screen is. I could put this. I think I might make this a little bit smaller so you can kind of see the skyline still. So I could save this. But if you guys want this picture or this quote, you can find both of them on my Pinterest um, at page.riles. So you can just click use as wallpaper and it'll just show up like this. Calculator, notes, which I used to write down all my video ideas when I have them. And then I have reminders, weather, not going to show because that shows my location settings so then i have gmail which i have way too many unopened emails and then shazam health wallet find my iphone and then school there's some apps that i need to use for school sleep cycle maps shops i literally have so many different shops in here like it's ridiculous i even have like pizza in here which is random and then for watch i have prime video netflix hulu disney now disney plus and hbo max Literally, my family has like every single like video subscription, which I have another little widget, which is just like things I have to do. My Good Habits app, I basically just have a bunch of random apps that honestly, I don't really use that much. Um, basically, I use this app sometimes if I want to like, for like tracking things I'm grateful for and stuff. But usually, I just write it down like on a notebook or something. I like the Focus Keeper app, which is like the Pomodoro method. So basically... You work for 25 minutes, break for 5, work for 25, break for 5. And then after a while, you get like a 20-minute long break, which is really nice. In my extra folder, I just have literally every single other app that doesn't fit into a category. An app I forgot to show you guys. It's called Likewise. You guys can go add me on there. My username is Paige underscore Riley. Um, so basically, 
what you do is you like follow your interests and then it kind of recommends like books and movies to you. We can kind of go through and see what I've saved. So I saved The Princess Diaries because literally one of my favorite movies. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to get the widgets. So you have to download this app called Widgetsmith. Mine's just like right there. Um, basically what you have to do is just press and hold on your screen, hit this little plus button, scroll down to the bottom of the widgets, click on the app Widgetsmith, and then you can add small widgets, medium widgets, or large widgets. But in order to add widgets, you need to customize them. So I already have these little widgets set up. So when you want to add a new one, um, add small widget, yeah, just goes to the date. And you just scroll down and then click on photos and album. Then basically you have to make an album for each individual widget because if you don't, then it'll just pick some random widget to put and you don't want that. So I have folders for widget one, widget two, widget three, widget four. So I'm just gonna cl click on widget four. Okay, it's this widget, okay. So then I'll just click save. And then when I'm adding a widget on here, I'll just click widget smith and then small. And then basically to change it on the back, you just click which one you want. So if I want three, but basically, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, again, all these pictures are up on my Pinterest if you want to put any of these on your for your widgets. And then how to do the medium widgets like this one. I'm literally showing you guys like this, but you can see it on the screen. When it comes up, it just comes up just like this default black widget, kind of boring. Um, so you can make it like 10 past 2, like say the words. You can click any of these fonts. So I think I'm going to do the New York font because that's what I have for literally all my other apps for the tint color. Just scroll down. I always do gray. And then for background color, you can do like 30%. I like to do the cream one. Also add a little border color. So I think I'm going to do a white border color. And then once you're done saving it, just hit click that button but basically that's what I did for the Friday one and this other medium one and then I'm gonna click on medium widget okay so I put this little thing that says like 2 p.m. 3 p.m. 4 p.m. 5 p.m. 6 p.m. 7 p.m. honestly I have no idea what that even means but it's like aesthetic looking so we're just gonna keep it all right guys so then to do the app icons basically what you want to do is go to shortcut and then what you're gonna do is just click this little plus button in the top right and then click add action Click on the script button and then click on open app and then choose the app. So I'm going to choose Spotify. Just click on those three little dots and we are going to name this shortcut the same name as the app. So Spotify and then you click this little thing in the corner. You hit choose photo When I hit add, add it to home screen. So then when I go to my home screen, there's a little app that says always bring your own sunshine and then underneath that says Spotify. Um, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit um, edit home screen, move to app library. So when it moves to the app library, it moves off your home screen. But I'm just going to move this new Spotify one down here to the bottom. And look how cute and aesthetic that looks. And when you click on it, you just, yeah, you just go to the shortcut app and then straight to, so straight to Spotify. So literally, I know people have spent literally hours upon hours doing all these customizations but i just want to show you guys it can be easy like you just have to add a few widgets and a cute little background and make your phone a whole new aesthetic thank you guys so much for watching i will see you on my next video bye